Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is CJ. This is I am introducing a new video concept to the channel today centered around book cover design, roasting design within books. Some of you may know I made a original tag called the could do better tag. A lot of my booktube friends have filmed themselves doing said tag and it's hilarious and I love watching them. And I was thinking about how to add a more like a more cyclical ep episodic version of that video idea. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? Literary Hub releases these top the best reviewed books of the week list and it's usually like five to seven books both fiction and non-fiction and the reviews themselves on lit hub are not about aesthetics at all but we're going to to make them about aesthetics okay i think it's a good culmination of like contemporary books that are being published so it'll be a pretty like live reaction to things that are just freshly circulating in the world and we'll have a design perspective on them perhaps okay but yeah i'm not a designer don't get mad at me. This is just, you know, the most subjective thing you could have an opinion on. So we're gonna do it together. Next up on this Lit Hub list, which I will link below in the description, we have Open Water, which is a book I just actually ordered for myself using the last of my Barnes and Noble gift card. If you can hear something thudding in the background, that is Spud playing with himself with a tennis ball because he's an only child and he knows how to entertain himself. So please ignore, hope it's not too distracting. Open Water. I like this color scheme. I like this darker coral with this more tangerine orange. It feels like an unexpected pairing tied with this more like turquoise blocky font. It is evocative of like a more Caribbean setting. So I'm curious if it's set in somewhere near water. Um, obviously the title leads us to believe that, right? But this, the colors itself seem like beach town. I can picture like lifeguard towers painted in these hues, right? I like a photographic treatment on a book cover. And I think this is an interesting exploration of that. I think these are both beautiful portraits. I like that we have someone looking at the camera, someone looking away, the skin tone on the subject in the latter bottom half of the book is gorgeous with that orange. It's really contrasting beautifully. Simple, poppy, looks solemn in their expression, and I'm intrigued. Overall, I like it. I like it. Next, we have The Souvenir Museum by Elizabeth McCracken. Okay, we have a, what are these called? A balloon animal on the cover, and it's giving me Jeff Koons, right? But, it's also giving me county fair at the same time, which I like. Again, another orange and turquoise pairing. Interesting to see if that's, you know, a theme we're gonna see within this month's culmination of books. Let's see, I don't love the italicized the in the title. I think the typeface is pretty boring and maybe like a little serious. I think they're like trying to play with attention between like the silly balloon animal and like a more classic type but overall it gives me nothing really. Nothing, I, I feel nothing from this. I don't, I don't love it that much. Ooh, I like this one. Antiquities by Cynthia Ozick. This is interesting. This gives me like Everglades trail guide, um, talismans, etchings that they're leaving for other people who are like hiking a trail and trying to find something in the Everglades. Very much so giving me Florida or like swamp vibes by this crane and this little bug and like this little little uh, grassy tall grass thing. I like it overall. Seems like a lot of like tattoos look like this nowadays if they're more illustrative like this this delicate um, kind of scientific drawing. I feel like I've seen that a lot lately. Hate the type hate that typewriter type in the bottom of the title and the author's name that could not be there and i would feel better about it but i like a i like a cream cover too it's nice it's giving us aged antiquity nature vibes a okay, early morning riser by katherine heine <laughs> oh man um this is the first book that i've read on you know what we're reviewing today 
I read a arc of this, it was sent to me by the publisher. I did not like this book. And I would say this illustrative style is definitely like speaking to a certain audience. It's, you know, abstract realism, using a wide poppy color palette, kind of this more illustrative but abstract approach that I feel like is a lot of book covers nowadays. As an aesthetic object, I feel like I do like it. The, the watercolor painting reminds me of Leah Gorin's work. I know she has illustrated book covers in the past, so I'm actually interested to see if this might be one of her paintings. It wouldn't surprise me if it was. So like that, I have an association with like an established illustrator from it. And yeah, I mean, it's like kind of basic. It's, it's, it's on trend, but it's not offensive to me. Whoa, this one's crazy. Nancy. Nancy. Nancy by Bruno Lorette. Hmm. Hmm. The X, that, that like X full of blank space reminds me of the XX album covers. So like, I don't know. Very clear association with me with a X with nothing inside of it, if that makes sense. And I'm also getting like weird Coachella inspiration tumblr vibes from this photograph i think it's the vignetting of the sky it's kind of like overly saturated and it very much so is like a desert coachella-esque landscape um i don't like the x inside of the x like instead of saying it's by bruno lorette but it's like nancy times bruno lorette so that is kind of a confusing way to read that um I don't like it. Empire of Pain. This is about the opioid crisis, I believe. I recently saw Jalen from Bar in the Bookcase talk about this on his channel. You know, it is definitely a nonfiction cover, right? It looks like kind of a political nonfiction book. That's like my first read from this type. It's very much so like Declaration of Independence to me. <laughs> um yeah like a greek column you know referencing empire oh i see pills in them now oh that's interesting okay so like very subtly maybe that's not you know maybe that's more obvious to you but there's percocets or some kind of opioid that are in the columns round things i feel like they could have played with that a little bit more but they have to like walk that line right of being like normal non-fiction who's gonna read this book paired with like sneaky little design. It's fine. Leaving isn't the hardest thing. Essays by Lauren Huff. Huff. This author really showed their ass this week on Twitter. I think if you are in the book community, you might have seen some call outs of said author. She got really mad that at reviewers on Goodreads and basically like spam tweeted at them for giving her book like a four instead of a five star. I don't know. I actually did want to read this book and I think I am going to still read it because I'd be that kind of lad um, but it's about someone leaving a cult which sounds cool so that's all I know about it like cult cult ties right so I'm gonna look at these design elements a little bit more closely are they firecrackers a firecrackers or snakes or barbed wire um I do like this I think it's fun but like serious at the same time I like a hand-drawn type, not a hand-drawn type, a like hand-rendered um, custom type is what I meant to say. And it intrigues me overall. It's giving me mystique. <laughs> okay, The Bookseller of Florence by Ross King. Yeah, I don't like it. It's giving me um, Monty Python that like story those stories about the the mice the mice who were um <laughs> in like red medieval wall. huh red wall red wall yeah it's giving me red wall uh, with the typeface yeah. and giving me an else nuclear folly a history of the cuban missile crisis i like this i like a collage cover i must say we're using like secret documents, historical photos of the president, um, a missile being blown up, and like a map, like cartograph 
style all layered on top of each other and i think the like distribution of color is nice and it's intriguing see like this is a non-fiction book that's like we're not gonna be like empire of pain we're gonna put a little design impetus behind this so i like that 12 lives of alfred hitchcock by edward white simple graphic looks like a movie poster so that is a nice tie-in for a book about a filmmaker and i like it i mean it's just there right it's just there it's not offensive and it's there first person singular by haruki murakami what a weird <laughs> cover this is so dissimilar to any other cover he's had that this is pretty shocking um we have a little close-up photo of a monkey a real monkey this looks like a nature documentary poster instead of a book cover have some like blurred bokeh in the background um i don't like this this is a weird book cover in my opinion and like very evocative of nature documentaries so it's a weird a weird tie-in for me pieces by helen oyemi i like this cover i've seen this floating around instagram lodge inspired we have hands we have a otter question mark we have a piece of furniture question mark we have a jewel there's like a ripped edge effect that's acting as a container for the type that would normally annoy me but i think it works with like the poppy graphic hands kind of anchoring it it doesn't feel like it's trying to be old or like um reference any historical kind of narrative kind of like hamnet use the same kind of like scroll effect so i like it it's strange I like a black book cover too. I think um, that's pretty rare to see people utilize that and it's really strong. I like it. Hummingbird Salamander by Jeff Vandermeer. Never heard of her. Is this a piece of fiction? Yes, it is. Again, nature documentary vibes. I feel like sci-fi coming from this. I don't know if that's true. I know nothing about this author or the plot, but I'm getting sci-fi, science fiction, like, fantasy from this vibrant color palette and the kind of like inclusion of a bird underwater i don't like it but it is trying to communicate something old diggers by sangina sathian this is interesting this is interesting kind of reminds me of the interior chinatown cover kind of like a throwback to more tourist inspired posters like hand-painted posters is kind of what this style reminds me of definitely like a lot of attention and care around the lettering here and you know kind of like a hide and seek where's waldo of these little additional elements that give you some more storytelling within the cover itself it's not like my design aesthetic fave but it is nice and well done Paradise, Nevada by David, David Diofebi. This looks cool. I'm into this. Like 80s modern glam kind of speaking to the artifice of Nevada, the consumption of spaces that are adjacent to Las Vegas in general this like grand building that we have several views into complete with the chandelier the big blocky type i like this i like the muted color palette too it's kind of more understated and um otherworldly really nice philip roth by blake bailey gives me nothing baby biography looks like every other biography i don't like it hard crowd by rachel kushner i'm assuming this is a photo of rachel kushner i read what was it the mars room a few months ago and i didn't like it so it's fine i feel like she has a strong attachment to this image because it doesn't really seem like a book cover image to me i don't know i don't like it broken horses by brandy carlisle yep it sure looks like a memoir a celebrity memoir the wild silence by rainer Wynn very like sketchy moby dick lino cut like wood block vibes here seems moody not my favorite but like well done i guess reads to me like um scary children's novel kind of like series of unfortunate events here let's have two more okay Bertie by caitlin green 
green inch. I like this, it's layered, it's evocative. We have a silhouette portrait, kind of a more like turn of the century type um, face being used. And it is reading a little commercial for me, probably just because it's like woman and landscape and that to me reads commercial, but it is not offensive by any means. Seems, seems nice. <laughs> A Woman in Salt by Gabriela Garcia. I've read, I've heard a lot about this on booktube actually. Um, do not like the cover at all. Seems like two stock photos. I don't like this type. Um, it feels like a Canva template, you know? Again, orange and turquoise though. There's that, that color pairing for us again. Okay, everyone. Hope you like this. Let me know if you have any idea names for what the series should be called. It's just us looking at book covers that are circulating and talking about them, okay? <laughs> uh, let me know if you agree or disagree strongly with any of my, my feedback there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Love you.